tell us a little bit about better gyms and some of the challenges they had and when they came to us and and, and how we went about solving that problem for them what yes. was their what was their pressure point yeah i always believe it's it's easier to understand the math with a life example something that's actually happened in real life for us so better gyms a customer we've been working with since january the first challenge we encountered with them is they were achieving a cpa which was around 1000 it was very very high especially in comparison to other channels such as google so their overall cpa was it was a thousand euro on on one channel then just for facebook okay all right while the cpa for other channels for example google it was a tenth of that wow right, so we're talking a very high difference. that's a very hard thing to stand up front of your board and go uh look um yeah we're still going to put the same budget into this yeah. channel and this channel yeah, well, so that, then, that yeah. was part of the problem they were encountering. Obviously, when they tried to justify that to the board, they said, please remove Facebook from your investment. It right. doesn't make sense. You're really throwing your money away. So first thing we did with them was to just bring in our optimization platform, Bionic, and just work on what they had within Facebook uniquely. Okay. Only by doing that, we reduced already a CPA to 50% of that. And right. we worked in less than a month, we were already in around 500, 400 to 500 more or less. And we kept it there improving slightly, but we were still working within Facebook metrics. This is just optimizing on using your, your skills, uh, your knowledge and the, 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 the tool, the Bionic tool, you were able to drive down by half their CPA. They must be delighted. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good job as well with Andrea, who was managing the account as well. We did a lot of work as well when it comes to actually uh, Facebook best practices, what we also call kind of Bionic best practices based on our knowledge, both of the industry, the market, uh, but also the platform itself. Just by itself, when you give the right structure and you really implement these changes, the platform does marvelous things and it's practically, um, it reduces your workload by a lot because it's optimizing on real time, 24 hours a day, every hour you got a big change and that really helps not to have to be on top of those results all the time and having to implement manual changes. But obviously we're still talking about 400, let's say CPA on average. Right. Considering the one yeah. Google, yeah. it's still yeah. quite a bad, yeah. you know? So, even though we're talking now about June, obviously the board was saying, you know, we gave you six months, it's still not going good enough, you know, and they started removing budget. So what we suggested to them is, nowadays you're measuring your results within Google Campaign Manager. And that is where you have your attribution and that is where you're measuring success of the campaign. So they used the Google Campaign Manager as their single source of truth. Exactly. Instead of optimizing your campaigns towards what Facebook is saying, if you're looking at Google Campaign Manager as your source of truth, Let's use that to optimize your campaign. Well, how did it impact their campaign? Well, those are the results you have actually on the slide. So just within the first two weeks, we achieved a 52% conversion rate, increase in conversion rate, which is, I think is very significant, especially within a two weeks period, and a 64% reduction on the cost per conversion. Wow. Obviously, we were talking now that, okay, we're still not within the 100 that Google has, but now we're around 150. They realized that around 80% of the conversion that were being attributed to Google on the last click attribution model, actually started on Facebook. Uh, I see. So right. it was the most important channel they actually have for brand awareness. And nowadays they're spending around the 50% of the budget they spend on Facebook, which had already increased by three times what they were spending before, just on brand awareness. Right, so that, that's really helping them fill the top of the funnel then, and, and that obviously then works better for them overall. So that's how you, so is this a typical kind of performance that you would see with, with clients when you bring them onto the bridge? It is, it is a typical scenario because at the end of the day, it happens more often than not that that math we saw before, it's actually happening in Google Campaign Manager. The metrics really differ a lot from one place to the other and the audiences that are performing better towards your attribution model tend to be different. That's not saying that the attribution that Facebook is showing is, is wrong. It is correct. Facebook had an impact on that conversion. It might not just be the impact you were thinking of within that journey. Very good. That's, that's fascinating. So it, that's, this is, um, I know this is a, a case study that uh, you've just released out into the market as well. So um, that is available on the website today. So you'll be able to download that.